How's it going everyone and welcome to another Counterside video. We've got a dev note number 6 dropping on us and uh, I've read through this because it's just a little letter from the head PD and uh, there's a couple things to kind of digest from it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read through it for you and then we'll talk about it a little bit. It says, Dear CEOs, this is Sai, head PD of Counterside. A new dawn of 2023 has arisen. Have you achieved the goals you have set for 2022? As for myself, I wanted to close out the year 2022 with something grand with our CEOs, which I could not do due to many restrictions. However, there were many notable moments as well. For example, celebrating the second and first anniversaries on KR and JP servers respectively. The launching of the Counterside Global Server, the opening of Cafe Strega, and participating in the Anime Game Festival. I hope the year 2022 will be remembered as a great year for all CEOs. The year 2023 will be very important for the future of Counterside. With the start of Global Origin Year on February 8th, the KR and JP servers will be operated in-house, and we promise to deliver better service to make sure all CEOs can experience a better Counterside experience. Not only through event rewards, but we are also currently renewing the game overall to give a fresh look to the game. In Counterside KR, with the release of Mainstream in Episode 10, Season 2 will come to a close. And Global will begin the Origin Year with the release of Mainstream Episode 8. With the end of Season 2, we are also preparing for the beginning of Season 3. Aside from story updates, a complete overhaul of the UI and system will be applied to the Global application. With the additions of many quality of life improvements, we hope not only the original CEOs, but also the new CEOs could enjoy the renewed counterside. With the service integration to the global application, I wish to provide an improved experience with better communication to all CEOs around the globe. To achieve this goal, the counterside development team is working passionately to make it happen. Global Origin Year Showcase is planned on January 28th. Please look forward to the complete, over, completely overhauled counterside. Happy New Year, and hope you will follow the journey with us in 2023. On behalf of Studio B-Side development team, I want to thank all the CEOs around the world once more. Okay, that's a lot. I read that really quick. Um, slight hiccup there in the beginning, but we got through it all. So what What can we take away from this? Uh, the, I think the first thing to really point out and really talk about is that it looks like here, the start of the Global Origin Year on February 8th. We knew it was going to be sometime in February that we got our server merge and whatnot going on. So the way this is worded, it's going to be like that first week in February, it looks like, because the KR and JP servers will be operated fully in-house at that point, and uh, they should be merged. So we can look for those rewards, for those pre-register rewards from, I think my last patch note video I talked about it. We can look for those sometime around February 8th is when they're going to be arriving. That's when the server should merge and all of that should happen. So probably worth noting to expect a really long maintenance somewhere in that time period. Um, but that's, that's the first thing I wanted to point out. So we can expect that server merge around February 8th, it looks like. And that is... Well, it's exciting because we have it kind of gives us an idea of when to expect all those nice rewards that we have from the pre-register and potentially more nice and exciting things to come. And it looks like they're going to be celebrating Global Origin Year on February 8th. What I don't know, but I slightly suspect because of the wording, what we're going to get is like our yearly anniversaries are just going to be consistently around February 8th going forward. Because uh, that's going to be the global origin year, the the global, like, community, all region anniversary. Now, whether they celebrate the other anniversaries, I don't know. Like, the best thing I can think of to compare this to is Seven Deadly Sense Grand Cross has it where the global anniversary is essentially the half anniversary because the time period falls around that point. Um, and then the year anniversary is when the original, uh, like, KR and JP servers launched, so. They kind of celebrate them both still, but they just reworded the global anniversary a little bit, and, uh, I, m I might be explaining how they did it a little wrong, but it kind of gets the idea across, I think, I hope. 
And so maybe that's what they're going to do here. And so like our, all of our anniversaries will be around February each year. Um, and then the, maybe the KR, AP, and Global anniversaries will just be special events. Like nothing super big like what this might be. But that's looking way ahead in the future. And I don't know if that's necessarily true or what that's going to be. They're not saying that. That's me making a guess, a contemplation. Because if all of the servers are operated in-house and JP and Global are merged at this point, uh, celebrating anniversaries will be a little weird if they don't do something kind of like that. So I fully suspect that. I, I do believe we'll get some kind of nice celebration for the one-year mark of Global this year. But for JP and KR and then Global going forward, I don't know what to suspect. And we'll just have to play that by year. I guess I'll just go down to the next paragraph, and uh, is there renewing the game to give it a fresh look? Uh, do they say that in this paragraph? They mention a UI. It's at the beginning of the very next one. But uh, in KR, the episode 10 is just released, and that will be the end of season 2. So uh, episode 1 through episode 5 would be season one and then episode six through ten being season two and it looks like they are preparing for the beginning of season three so having just played through the story a decent bit uh last night for a stream i, I can see that where season two kind of goes and then based off of some other videos i've seen from uh kr and whatnot i have a guess where season two goes and uh, but i don't know where season three is coming pick up so that should be interesting to see it's also worth no worth noting that uh when the global origin year so around february 8th around that time period uh the global server will get episode eight so about one month out from now we'll be getting episode eight for the mainstream so i don't remember if there is a specific unit or anything that kind of coincides with eight because like, Awaken Shiyun kind of coincided with 7, right? So I don't know if 8 coincides with anybody off the top of my head, but that potentially gives us a date for an, another unit to some extent. We'll have to see. I like, I like that I don't, I don't know for certain. Um, if any of the KR bros are in chat, in chat, I'm not streaming, I'm recording, are watching, uh, maybe you know, and maybe you can give us a heads up. Um, but let's see. So that's the end of Season 2, beginning of Season 3. And uh, apart from the story updates, a complete overhaul of the UI and system will be applied to the global application. So that's kind of exciting to think about, getting a little bit of a UI update and you know some system updates to just a lot of really nice quality of life. That could be any number of things. If I were to be super optimistic that beyond what is actually reasonable, I would think it's an improvement to somehow rolling set binaries. It's not going to be that. But uh, who knows what that is exactly. They don't say here. I don't know if they're talking about pre-existing things on KR or they're just talking about some new quality of life things. So it will be exciting to see that. And uh, it says this is coming with the integration. So again, somewhere around February. So maybe not a lot of quality of life or anything big happening throughout January. So we will have to uh, stay tuned to see what's going on there. But potentially really interesting things coming. So I uh, am excited to see those quality of life updates. I'm excited to see the UI updates because I don't really have a, many complaints with the UI. But there are a few small quips maybe here and there. But they're very, very small and very inconsequential but we'll see what happens with the uh, update coming so reading through from there looks like that is pretty much it uh, with one last thing being the global origin year showcase is planned on January 28th and then please look forward to the completely overhauled counter side so the completely overhauled counter side, kind of going in with that last thing, It'd be very interested to see all the updates and what that does. I don't, you know, the core gameplay is not going to change much, and you know, nothing 
that's in there now is really going to change, but it's going to look hopefully a lot nicer and maybe play a lot smoother is the big things to take away. And that can only be a good thing because the game already is a really fun game, a really smooth game. Um, so it is very exciting to see that they are striving to improve it even more. And uh, hopefully they are all improvements. But the Global Origin Year Showcase planned on January 28th. This is one of two things. The first thing, and probably the more likely thing if we're honest, is it's going to show what, what the Global Origin Year events and rewards are going to uh, consist of. So the things we'll be getting from like the pre-register rewards, the any other event rewards going on, login rewards, things like that. And showcasing all of that. Uh, that seems the more likely thing to happen with this, but what it could also mean and what I'm hoping it means and what I really want it to mean, and I'm sure a lot of people might agree with me, is the Global Origin Year Showcase is going to be our next roadmap. It's going to show what the, maybe not the next year, but the next maybe six months of uh, what we can expect to see. So there is that. Um, to consider and I'm I'm excited for the possibility we I mentioned when I was going over that January preview uh, that we may not get a roadmap it may be just these little previews but maybe we will get a roadmap with this maybe they have a plan for how to implement things when to implement things and what things to implement as far as like adding events and characters and such and so forth going forward after the server merge so it really feels like right now their main focus is the server merge, server merge, which makes sense. That's a pretty big deal, and probably an in slightly intensive process. Um, and then once that's through, they'll go into the new year, go into the rest of 2023, and they have big plans. They have plans in general, so that is exciting. It, overall, this uh, little letter, it was literal dev note, I guess you could say. Uh, is very optimistic. It, it, it definitely leaves a hopeful taste in the mouth. So that's really nice and hopefully it actually plays out that way. Hopefully we actually do get a lot of good things out of this. I'm willing to believe we do get a lot of good things out of this and uh, it does instill a little bit of excitement for what's to come. Yeah, it does feel like they're saying January is going to be a fairly slow or dull month. But that's not really a bad thing, like one slow month. And even then, I'm sure a slow month isn't going to be that slow for us. Like, I think I think January will probably be the tamest month we see for a little while. As they just, you know, update a lot of things, add things, and things just kind of exciting going forward. So it's, uh... We shall see, and uh, you can expect to see videos here as that information is revealed to us later this month, and uh, any other interesting or exciting tidbits and news that we got coming for Counterside. So one more thing I want to kind of throw in there and point out is, uh, it looks like there was an interview with the Studio B-Side director, um, and this is like a Google translated page. so. There is a lot of uh, broken English in here, and things may not be perfectly translated, but it's in here, and I'll leave a link to this in the description of the video um, if you want to check it out and read through it yourself. There's a tidbit in here where they kind of talk about collapse that I wanted to point out as well, since I'm talking about this uh, JP uh, and KR merging over and all of that. Where it looks like, and first off, the translation makes them say makes it seem like they're saying that the uh, Hollow Live collab was a huge success, and if that's the case, there is a huge disconnect of uh, communication and attention to their players because I don't see any way that you could call this collab a success with uh, so many people seem to be dis dis uh, dissatisfied and unhappy with it. But I've already made a video about that, so I'm not going to get into that. The thing is, is they also said things like the uh, Code Geass collab was a failure. 
And it had the opposite reaction, like where people were fairly happy with the Code Geass uh, collab from what I saw online. And I mean, of course, we didn't get that in Global, so I didn't participate in it or anything. But I think the biggest problem they had is like one or one of the units wasn't really that good and they weren't like standout outstanding units I think was the like worst thing I heard about that collab and, and, and my opinion on that is, is like I don't think collab units should be meta defining or game breaking units especially in you know a game like this where they're just there for you know to have because it's nice and collab support woo I think they should be good units don't get me wrong but it's just like I don't go into a collab expecting meta breaking units or anything like that so I, I think the collab units are fine I do think you know one of them being ra rather poor is a bit disappointing but it, it, that's neither here nor there um, while they said they think that collab wasn't so good if this translation isn't mixing the two up which I really hope it is. I really hope it's mixing, you know, that there's that description that they're saying, you know, Kogius was good and Hollow Live ended up poorly. Like, that would, that would make more sense. But what I'm getting at, the more important bit, is that they are working on trying to get the other collabs, the collabs that were in other versions, across to the versions they weren't in. So there is hope yet of... What is it? Blaz Blue was the collab KR got coming to JP and Global. Um, KR getting Hollow Live and Code Geass, and then I don't know how they're planning to do the Code Geass and Hollow Live one with JP and Global merging in the end of the month. But maybe there is something there. So it looks like that is something they are thinking about and I think that's the kind of important bit to take away here the um there is hope of us getting that in in global of us getting Lelouch and all of them in global so that's exciting and worth looking uh forward to because while they said are there any collaborations you know they're looking forward to in the future they said right now they're not focusing on new collaborations they're focusing on getting all the existing collaborations across all of the existing servers so we have hope of getting the code Geass units and uh, seeing maybe even the blast blue units in the future so just wanted to point that out as well since we're talking about that server merge and things like that uh, like I said this will be in the description of the video if you want to go through and give it a read uh, you'll have to translate the page like I did and uh, yeah but that is that and uh, so something else to look forward to and maybe we'll get some more information on that when the server merge happens at the end of the month, uh, beginning of February. So, With all that being said, that is the video. That's Dev Note 6. This is the sixth one? Yeah, Dev Note 6. Uh, just a little letter from from Psy, head PD of Counterside, and just a little bit of uh, stuff to look forward to. So that is exciting, and it shows that 2023 should be a good year for us. So let's uh, let's hang in there. Let's uh, continue to enjoy this game that uh, we all play. I'm I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'm having a blast with the game still to this day. So uh, you can expect more here. And all of any other further information on any of these topics, like I said, you can see here when they get announced, released, whatever. And with all that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Happy New Year's. Peace.